We have Lauren, Shannon and Jessica here from Ballet Clare High School enjoying the STEM truck today. Girls, are you enjoying the STEM truck? Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Uh, can you tell me a bit about your project for the BT Young Scientist event, please? Well, we're doing an investigation into muscle wear and the treatment of muscular dystrophy. And did you have some interesting findings? Yes, we did. We were testing the different strengths of muscle wire to see um, what we could use as a real muscle. And when the, like, when someone has muscular, muscular dystrophy, their muscles basically just disintegrate and um, they can't walk or do whatever they need to do. And you can just add in, like, you, we were thinking that you could add it in instead of a muscle. And have you guys made it through to the final in Dublin? Yes, we have, yes. And when's that in January? You're going down? January, yep, yeah, and the 11th to the 15th. And do you look forward to that and seeing all the other schools there? Yeah, really looking forward to it. So tell me, do you guys study STEM subjects at the moment? Yeah, we study most of the STEM subjects, yeah. And at what level is that at? QCH3. QCH3. Okay, and do you plan to do STEM subjects in the future? Yes, most of them. Do you find entering the BT Young Scientist makes you more involved in STEM? Yeah, I suppose it does because you're learning all about different facilities that we have, able for when you're older if you want to like take a job in STEM sort of subject area. And so have you all had a good day today? Yeah, it's been really fun. How have you enjoyed the STEM shot this morning? Um, it's been really interesting. I like the little, like, um, the things where you could put it on the back of your hand and showed all the different lines. And I like the machine that was a carving out the Belfast Giants thing. Did you enter a project into the scientist event? Can you tell me about it? Uh, we entered does eye colour affect sport invisibility and people with darker eyes are better at boxing than lighter eyed people and lighter eyed are better at, I forget, golf, <laughs> golf and stuff. Well, very interesting. And are you studying STEM related subjects? <laughs> yeah. What subjects? <laughs> uh, maths and science and uh, technology. Imagine why? Uh, do you want to tell us about your project? What, an Irish or? <laughs> Irish or English? We were doing a study into um, red hair gene and um, pain tolerance, or um, again, Rua August Tarsha Pianak. And are you studying STEM subjects at the moment? Um, biology and chemistry. And what's that in Irish? Biolog August Chemic. And do you plan to enter again next year? I hope so, yeah. Maybe get through. And do you find it's made you even more interested in STEM? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Nikki Craig, you're a teacher in Ballet Clare High School. Uh, you're group of pupils has entered the competition and have made it through to the final in Dublin. Was it your idea for them to enter the competition? Yeah, I was aware of BT Young Scientist for the last couple of years and um, the pupils were looking at a project and I thought it would be a really good experience for them to enter it into BT Young Scientist and they were fortunate enough to get through to Dublin with it. And do you think this enthuses them more for the STEM, uh, the whole STEM area? Yeah, I think it definitely does. It lets them see um, the stuff that they learn in school is applicable to real life and it actually gives them an opportunity to um, meet a lot of new people that they wouldn't normally meet and see how um, they could use things like science in careers for the future. Uh, so you do think it'll be beneficial for their future career prospects then? Definitely. It's so difficult sometimes to get through to the BT Young Scientists in Dublin, so it'll look great in their CVs and UCAS applications, and especially now that there's more competition for them to get into university courses now. And it's a great networking opportunity for them too? Yeah, I mean, they wouldn't normally get a chance to meet pupils from other schools like this, so they'll be meeting like-minded people that are enthusiastic about science as well. <laughs> Yes, that's right. Ryan, Aaron and Peter, you three have entered a project from Bangor Grammar School for the BT Young Scientist event. Ryan, can you tell me a bit about it? Uh, well, effectively it's a moisture sensor used by everyday gardeners just to help keep a uh, healthy indicator to when to water your plants really. And you think this will be useful then? Yeah, it should be useful for most gardeners out there, you know, and people who would be in the house most, plus, you know, and the like. 
doing stuff for the garden as well. Is it something you think there would actually be a commercial opportunity in? Yeah, probably a wide, a wide range of people would be able to use it. Say elderly people who enjoy um, gardening as a hobby, it would be a very useful a tool for them. So I suppose, yeah, it could be a very good commercial product out there.